guys, me, host Super Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. It's Lego. This is Spider Man Homecoming Lego, and this is set number 76083. And this is the Beware the Vulture set, which also features Vulture, Shocker, Iron Man and Spidey himself. So in all fairness, four major characters, that's a great pack. And I can't, I think this one was about 30, 40 quid, I think, in this pack. Maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure. Uh, I got it as a birthday present, as you know. Uh, that's why I don't know fully on the price of it. Uh, but you can pick this up on Amazon and in Lego Store and pretty much everywhere. Um, but it's an amazing set and I can't wait to build it. So. This uh, video is kind of to celebrate the fact that Spider-Man Homecoming is in cinemas today. Really excited about that. I'm going to go see it. It's uh, in Cineworld Cinemas today. So I'm going to go and watch that later on. So please expect a review from me of the Spider-Man Homecoming movie as soon as I've watched it. But here we go. Let, for now, let's build this Lego set and let's see what's going on inside. So as you know, guys, I like to do... Um, I sort of like, like to build Lego while I'm watching TV and things and sort of chill out while I'm building. So I don't like to do like building videos like where I time lapse and things. So what I'm going to do is I will introduce each little set and show off each character as we get to them. So you'll get updates throughout the video. Okay, so here is the box. The artwork on it is beautiful, as you just saw. We have packs number one, pack number two, and pack number three. We also have got a bunch of little buff, book, booklets and bumps here as well. So we got a Thor Ragnarok comic book made by Lego. So we'll probably give that a little read later on. I might take a few little snaps of that and put that on Instagram for you guys, just so you can have um, a little gander at some of that artwork, because it is kind of fun. Uh, I do actually have this set to uh, build as well, by the way. Um, so I'll probably get to that one. The sort of Gladiator Hulk set. I'm really excited about that one. Oh, it's a two-sided comic book. And there's the Spider-Man Homecoming with the Vulture. And Shocker there. That's a set we've got. That's really cool. Other than that, though, in this pack, we also have the instruction booklet. Uh, this is instruction booklet number one, which will be starting on first. And it does look like Spider-Man and Vulture, and Vulture's wings are included in pack one. Um, and then from there, ugh, we've got some uh, some stickers. And then finally, this is book two, which will cover pack two and three then. And in pack two, we're going to be getting Iron Man and the truck. And then also a shocker as well there. So I'll come back to you once I've built pack one and we'll do a little review there as we go. Yeah, and I'll uh, give you guys periodic little updates as and when, uh, you know, I'm sort of building. Guys, I hope you're excited for this set because I know I am, so let's do this. Okay, and here are our first two minifigures for this collection. So let me show you Spider-Man first of all. He looks pretty awesome. Uh, they've got the new eyes sort of look on there. They're a little bit more oval shaped. My camera will focus. A little bit more oval shaped like they are in the movie. Which is pretty cool. That's as good as we're going to get, I think, on this camera. But that's a shame. Uh, the eyes are nice and oval. And um, it looks really awesome, though. The detailing in the costume is super good. There we go. Really like that with the webbing on the side of the arms. On the back. The blue is a little bit darker than I would have thought, but I think that's how it looks in the film now. But I wish it was a little bit more of a, like a lighter blue. It looks a, it's a very dark blue, and that's I know it's dark in here, but even when you put it up to the light, it's not very blue. It's quite dark. Which on the box it looks a little bit lighter than that. And then we have Vulture. I haven't built his wings yet, but this is a Vulture, played in the film by Michael Michael Keaton. And if you take his hat off, his 
helmet rather. You actually have his uh, face sculpt under there as well, his little face. Oh my god, my camera. Camera does not want to focus today, people. I am so sorry. There we go. So yeah, a nice face sculpt there as well. So yeah, these are the first two of the uh, figures. We still have Iron Man and Shocker in the next pack. So I'm going to get building on his wings and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and I am now at the end of pack one. There's a few little details to show you. Like we've got Peter Parker's mobile phone here, which I thought was a nice little touch. Uh, there's also a web that you can hang him from. And this of course is his webbing. So that piece comes with it as well. But these are pretty cool. So the, these on Spider-Man's hand, basically you pull that. Oh, I didn't fire off the try with the other one. And it fires off, which I thought was a pretty cool little accessory. Uh, so that's something new. I hadn't seen those before, so I'm not sure if they've ever been included with the Spider-Man set before, but that's pretty cool. I like that, the power blast. Um, and this is obviously the Falcon. I've now attached his back piece so that he can stick in his glider and his glider is now built so taking a look at the glider guys it is really nicely detailed with these like almost like little um armor pieces here they were quite nice to fit together um there is this detailing on the back as well with the sticker work which makes it look really nice i don't i haven't found a use for these yet i'm not sure how i think they're just like the blade like like chopper like a chopper style blade that helps him fly not 200 percent sure but yeah, he flies from the front, and he's got two blasters up here, so let's just attach him on. And the, the thing that he's attached to is at a little angle, so that you kind of, so he's kind of flying away from it, so that when you pop him in the air, whoosh, he flies towards it. And of course, it does come with the usual um, popper, sort of like grenade launchers, so they just fire off like that. I need to pick those up on the floor before my dot, but baby daughter eats them. So those are the two little popper things that just pop off and fire against the box. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to now move on to um, bag number two, and I believe we're going to start building that big truck. So guys, bear with us, and I'll come back to you once we've built the next part. Okay guys, and here is the next part of our Lego building fun. As you can see here, this is Shocker. He comes with these big silver hands. You don't have to have them on though. He has just got regular hands underneath, but these are like the big gauntlet things I think he's going to be wearing in the next film. And uh, of course we have Iron Man. This is in the Iron Man suit from the trailer. It's got like a certain silvery appearance to it. Yeah, he does have the little blue studs on his feet so that it looks like he's flying in midair. That's pretty cool. Um, as well we have these little crates. There is some stickers to put TNT logos on them and things like that. Um, and this is the van. Let me just lift the back up. So here is the van. I've had to heavily modify this. It was incredibly flimsy. The build isn't too great. I've had to heavily modify this with Lego parts of my own to kind of make it a little bit more sturdy because it kept falling apart in my hands. It's probably going to fall apart in this video. Uh, but as you can see on the front, it's got a license plate. And on the back, it says, how's my driving? Shocking. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, there is some more little stickers to put some like webbing and bumps and scratches and things on the car which I wasn't too fond of so I've left them off my version but yeah they are there to make it look a little bit more battered a bit more battered and of course if you um, open this up I'm being very careful this time and uh, there's a Gatling gun in here turn that round and you can put studs in there and there is a little rotation piece to fire them out now as you can see it gets stuck about there and you have to kind of lift it up and force it in but when you do that lower pieces here that are on the bottom start to and the wheels completely come off start to um pop off and things like that so it's an incredibly flimsy piece of, uh, of Lego. Really quite disappointed with that. I'd love to know if anyone else has had trouble with their version or whether I'm just not a very good Lego builder maybe, I don't know. 
Maybe I'm not a master builder. There we go. But what do you guys think of this Lego set? I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to take some nice photos for Instagram. And of course, don't forget we have the Falcon as well. Which kind of try and prop him up there. Falcon in his glider. And of course, we had Spidey. He comes with his accessory pieces. We have Iron Man and we have Shocker. Now, this version of the movie set I wanted to pick up because it had all the major characters from the film in one set. For the price of this set, I think it's well worth it with the ratio of the characters, especially the characters you're getting, because it's all the major characters from the movie. Falcon, Iron Man, Spider-Man and Shocker. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. And let's take it back to the big cam and finish this one off. Quick, Shocker, load up the van before Spider gets here. It's too late for that, Falcon. Well, there's only one of you and two of us. I wouldn't be so sure about that. And while the battle ensued, three unsuspecting characters turned up to steal the loot. Let's take this back to Boba Fett. I'm sure you'll like it. So what is your guys' thoughts on this set? Let me know in the comments down below, as I said. I'd love to hear what you guys have thought of it. Should I do a Lego... Uh, Lego? Should I do a Spider-Man movie review? Uh, once I've seen it later on today. Let me know that as well in the comments down below. Please smash that subscribe button, guys. It really supports the show, really helps me out, and helps me keep making these awesome videos. Have an awesome day, guys, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!